pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. He cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yeah. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Chief. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Modesto, California, Big Daddy. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your Fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand or it. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Slips the punch. Whiffs on that offering. Finds a home for the left hand there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, man, head kick lands. Effective punch there by Lee. Oh, big head kick there. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Oh, wow, you don't see that every day. Beautiful Imanari roll, right into 
a heel hook attempt now. Under two minutes now to go in round one. Lee's looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Well, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Back to the feet now. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice one-two there. And both guys really throwing with authority. 20 seconds left. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing it. Five minutes in the books. Now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, here we go with round two. Round one, pretty Ready? good. Not great, but some Ready? action on both sides. We can't always hope for fireworks, John. Yeah. Sometimes we got to deal with the ebbs and flows of a fight. In round number one, you saw both guys have success. Let's see who really charges out ahead in the second round. Big punch man over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh, beating his leg up. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well. If he drops a big right hand after it, oh, oh, he's up on the top. More urgent here. That's gonna hurt. Gotta get out of there. Work here, staying busy. Close guard. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Lee's back inside control. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace on uptick in the aggression and the output and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Big head kick land. Lee gets caught with that punch. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Already right, closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. 
Oh, nice job to block the kick. He's throwing every part of himself into these big legs. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so here we go. Next round is underway. It looked like maybe we would get a finish by submission in the previous round. Close, but no cigar. Close, but no cigar. He's going to have to do things differently if he's going to submit this guy. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch in the clinch. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Big left hand lands. Oh, misses with the jab. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Just over three minutes to go. Can't take any of those, better check. He blocks the punch. Throwing that jab, no good. Keep your hands up. Powerful leg kick lands. Some nice back and forth action here. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder round. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, wow, oh! Oh, wow, oh! Here, maybe looking to hip escape DC. Oh, trying to pass here, but to Kembe Matumbo style, Blocked. he gets denied. Blocked! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Oh man, this ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, it creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Offensive fight, nice job to block the shot there. Oh, the super 
two-man punch lands. Good punch lands. Hard shots landing on both sides here. in the night. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Lee. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. And they separate. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Both fighters throwing heat now. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. That punch will work right through the door. Oh, he's hurt. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Body kick is blocked. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target there. The sidekick is there. Straight punch. Head kick lands. All right, so a big knockdown for him courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well. But when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal. And if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good, not bad. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get when you have fighters that are so evenly matched. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his chin into his opponent. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Big leg kick lands. Block that kick to the body. Great punch landed with so much power. Just misses with the right hook. Nice body. <laughs> Big liver kick lands under the elbow. is blocked. Hands up, hands up. Back and forth we go. Three minutes now to go to decide this one. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's gonna hurt this opponent. Big ball from punch land. Now he gets back to range. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finish or you're getting an L? This is when you got to go to the Nate Diaz mentality. Kill or be killed. You got to throw everything at your opponent because if this thing goes to the judges, you are not going to win this fight.
big kick land. Big body kick. One minute to go in the fight. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, nice strike landed there by Lee. Ooh, head kick lands from Kurt. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. And that one certainly found the target. What a fight! Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 48-47, 50-45, and 49-46. Declared the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, nice job by him there as he is your winner via you.